Well, Tuxton Tales have asked me to take a look through today's schedule, pick out a few of the winners and losers. Well, I'm not much of a tipster. I have to stay impartial as my job as MC, so let's just have a look at the form. First game up tomorrow, a recent rivalry renewed again. Larry Butler, the eagle from America, played Glenn Durrant in the Winmore World Masters final. They meet again on stage this afternoon but they do have previous in the Grand Slam of Darts qualifier. Larry Butler did beat Glenn Durrant, so it's one victory apiece in the autumn. Big clash coming up this afternoon with those two. We also have the last ladies match of the first round, an all Yorkshire clash between Lorraine Wynne Stanley and Rachel Brooks. That's a flip of a coin for me. Rachel Brooks, very experienced. Lorraine Wynne Stanley will be the favourite, of course, being the seeded player, but could go either way, that one. And the last one of the afternoon session, Jim Williams. He's had a long wait before this second round match because he started it all off on Saturday afternoon taking out Tony O'Shea. Look steady, look confident. He takes on Wesley Harms, who had a tough battle, didn't he, yesterday against the Japanese star Sago Asada. So the last two World Cup singles champions there in Williams and Harms going head to head. Could be an interesting match. In the evening, it starts off with the Tortoise taking on the Hare. Dennis Harbour, slow and deliberate, taking on the quick-throwing left-hander, captain of Wales, Martin Phillips. Martin Phillips would be favourite, world master, of course, just over a year ago. But it's a tough game. The pace could really affect Martin Phillips. It's going to be an interesting one, that. Both really experienced players could go either way. Jamie Hughes, the boy from the black country, he's taking on Madars Razma. Maybe he would have been expected to face Gary Robson, but great performance today, good finishing from the Latvian. Could trouble Hughes if Hughes doesn't take out the doubles himself. Uh, the final game, Brian Dawson won a brilliant match with John Boy last night. Uh, he's back up again taking on Jeff Smith. Many people at this stage would have expected Walton taking on Adams. It's not, it's Dawson taking on Smith. Jeff Smith so impressive, defeating the three-time world champion Wolfie by three sets to nil. He's going to take some stopping. He looks just as cool and calm as he did reaching the semi-finals last year. Watch out for the silencer tomorrow. I'm looking forward to bringing them on stage. Hope you're going to join us. Hi-ho!